This time we're taking an older book down from the retro shelf for a second look and we go back to 2012 with The Future Was Here, The Commodore Amiga by Jimmy Mayer. Jimmy Mayer, the digital antiquarian, with his blog at philfree.net, has done some amazing research and articles on the software industry and the growth of technology. He also does a series, The Analog Antiquarian, looking at ancient history, which I find fascinating too. Where else can you read about an Italian circus strongman becoming a leading Egyptian archaeologist? Ah, the future is here is proof of just how exhilarating platform studies can be. Jimmy Mayer has the rare talent of writing technical descriptions that are both challenging and accessible, so that the conclusion of each chapter, one experiences the re rewarding pleasure of having learned and understood something new and difficult. And the platform studies is a series of books from the MIT Press, Massachusetts Institute of Technology, looking at a particular computer platform or software platform. And I have looked at various books in that series before. So we are going back to 1985 and the launch of the Amiga. Racing the Beam, Codename Revolution, the Nintendo Wii platform, and the future is here at that time with the books in the series. I have some more dedicated to daughter, daughter, his wife, and series forward acknowledgements. The future is here. Boeing, Deluxe Paint, SSG, and Sculpt Animate. New Tech, Omega OS, and Arex, The Scene, Cinema Own, and Psygnosis, The Way the Future Was. Glossary, Notes, Bibliography, and Index. So, series forward, they're talking about what the Platform Studies series hopes to achieve, acknowledgements, and the future is here. What do you do with a computer today? Well, imagine you've never used a multimedia PC before, and along comes the Commodore Amiga. So we're going back to the start of the story here. The custom chips hit the heart, the Boeing demo from the winter CES, talking about the display system and bit planes, and how the Boeing demo itself worked. You see the illustrations are in black and white and greystale in this book, but there's still quite a few of them, some technical details there, still going through. The Boeing demo and how it became a computing icon. Deluxe Paint, very important application from Electronic Arts. Key feature of the early years of the Amiga, some stunning artwork. Most notably the famous Tutankhamun mask. Which became the cover star. Up to Deluxe Paint 3 and how memory access works here. Working environment, going into animation, hold and modify the strange mode that was difficult to use, SSG and Sculpt Animate, famous juggler demo, Eric Graham, ray tracing and how that works, Videoscape 3D and Sculpt Animate, And as well as the information in the book, there is a separate link online with additional information and downloads to accompany the text, Sculpt Animate Successes. And then onto New Tech, the video toaster, how the Amiga became involved in video effects, probably most famously in Babylon 5 and Sequest DSV through the use of the Genlock technology and digitizer. Max Hedrum, believed to be generated with the help of the Amiga, the background certainly. Uh, in space scene from the pilot episode of Babylon 5, generated entirely in lightweight 3D, running on a video toaster equipped Amiga. The video toaster, obviously very important in terms of video production. Amiga OS and Arex, talking about the technical side here, and the, the libraries at the heart of the Amiga, the Guru Meditation era, when things went wrong. There's little funny little anecdotes about the origin of that. And then Arex, the scripting language. Talking about the scene, so computer viruses, the demo scene, 
cracking and swapping. Red Sector's Mega Demo. State of the Art from Spaceballs. Lux Music Construction Set. And then talking about Pro Tracker and the growth of the mod scene. Cinema and Wear and Psygnosis. Looking at two of the key developers on the Amiga. TV Sports Football with its TV like presentation there. Braticus. Box artwork by Roger Dean, Menace in Action. Interesting technical discussion there of how the effects are achieved. The legacy of Psygnosis. And the way the future was, how unfortunately Commodore did not make the best of the Amiga. Attempts to update the hardware with the AGA machines and ultimately the bankruptcy of Commodore. A very useful glossary of terms used in the book. Some very Amiga specific terms there like the copper. Notes for each chapter, footnotes that add extra reading and extra description. Some of these are quite interesting. Then into the bibliography and the index. So, over 300 pages, illustrated, very well written, very easy to read, but still putting across a lot of technical information. Thoroughly recommend The Future Is Here by Jimmy Mayer, and I also recommend reading his blog at philfree.net. I'll leave links in the description. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please comment, like, share, subscribe, support me on Ko-fi, and I'll see you in the next video.